somewhat excited, a little bit nervous. Obviously, this year there have been zero pitches, zero events, so this this will be the first one this year. So a little bit of both. Like, I I'd really like to see the uh, you know what all the other innovators are doing and how they're tackling it from a product or even a design perspective. I had a pitch uh, a few weeks back that was for four minutes and this is for five minutes so I'm happy that I got one extra minute to do. <laughs> I think that I need to do more preparation on uh, fine-tuning the wording, how, how to be more crystallized. Stay calm and make sure I've got a better internet connection. I'm looking for creative and innovative idea so I would say any startups that have uh, came up with um, you know how to work remotely but effectively I think that would be interesting you know being able to, to share the ideas and getting feedback I think it's super valuable uh, and hopefully the uh, yeah the entrepreneurs that uh, are part of this uh, eventually take the next step to start their own company I mean like to eventually kind of scale it up and uh, looking forward to uh, you know them being uh, some of the biggest companies in the next uh, couple of years. know before we kick off tonight's uh, startup arena what exactly are you guys hoping to see from the startups that will be pitching you to, uh, pitching you guys tonight maybe Peter you can tell us a little bit about what you're expecting from them I think they only have five minutes or so right and and so it's very hard to to, to talk about uh, all aspects of the business um, so one of the things that we actually always look for is how articulate is a founder like every business is complex in their own way and being able to rise above that and articulate the business in a very compelling way and in a very short uh, and crisp manner is actually very hard. And that's a, that's a skill that we sometimes look for. All right, sit tight, ladies and gents. Let the battle begin. And onwards with our first company for the evening. First up, we have Easy from Myanmar. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Chom Minsui, founder and CEO of Easy. So what we do at Easy is that we connect rural mom and pop retailers with their wholesalers and distributors in their town to get more access, better prices, uh, convenience and safe delivery. So we have the mobile platform that they can place an order. The order goes to wholesalers and our retailers, our suppliers. We do the collection and we do the packaging at our fulfillment center and deliver it to them either the same day or the next day. If you look at the market size, rural retailers alone are, is about 170K retailers here in Myanmar only in the rural areas. And that is about $1.2 billion market size. Hey, thank you so much for that. Um, out of curiosity, do you see yourself more as a, as a, um, as a logistics business or should you, should you think about it more as a, as a sourcing way for the, the mom and pop shops to source goods from you guys and, and you act as a, either a procurement platform or more like a marketplace? Uh, it's more on the logistics side rather than the marketplace but we will be the one to source the best price in, in the market and then deliver it to them. So using your so service, uh, do I pay more? Do I pay less um, you know, for, for the whole set? The price points are more or less the same. And so they're actually paying less now because they used to, for example, my sister needs to ask her husband to go to town and that costs about $5 per, per trip. Now we're even delivering at $1 per delivery, which costs them a lot less, but they are getting varieties of products at their doorsteps, you know, without having to worry about uh, losing any other income. Very good pitch, Minsui. We're going to move on to our next contestant for tonight. Hey guys, my name is Zach and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Curlec. Curlec is a fintech company that makes it really easy for businesses of all sizes to collect recurring payments and take control of their cash flow. And how we do this is that we build technology on top of banking payment infrastructure. While we move away from the spaghetti diagram to a very simple three-step solution, well, by now, a business has the ability to sign up their customer, collect payments from their account, and subsequently reconcile this against their account, all in a completely automated and seamless manner, or alternatively by our API. Should we see you similar? And should we also see you as someone who's enabling uh, the typical SaaS provider? Or are you going for a different type of use case? I mean, all that messaging is around SaaS. I think for us, you know, we, we want to go to all businesses, so very much down the Zawara line. Um, whether you're offline type business or online type business, because we feel most businesses want to move into this sort of new world, um, but enable it and sort of price accordingly um, to also the SME level, which I don't believe Zora do. How relevant is your current product in other Southeast Asian markets? And which yeah. would be the one or two? We'd probably look at the two neighboring countries. Um, 
up and down <laughs> of this. Um, number of reasons, banking maturity, uh, also sort of similarity to our current market. Um, and I think there are very interesting things going on, particularly from a payment perspective. When we look at sort of how the, you know, like I said, bank-to-bank uh, -bank payments is our bread and butter and all the national switches, you know, in, in payment, obviously in Malaysia. Next up is String Soul, a fun and interactive one-on-one -on -one online piano tutoring platform designed to help kids accelerate their piano skills and find joy in practicing it regularly. String Soul is an education uh, technology platform specialized in music learning. And our mission is basically to making sure that the music learning are efficient, fun, and as well as uh, progress faster. So uh, there are three main highlights in our apps, basically. Uh, the first one, we digitalize the whole learning uh, journey, uh, music learning activities. Uh, number two, we try to make it interactive and fun. And the last one will be we customize a uh, webcam to allow the students to share the handball string during the live class. Our next contestant is JK Basir. This is JK, co-founder of Trailly Platform. We help entrepreneurs and offline enterprises to launch their digital marketplaces in 10 days with the turnkey SaaS solutions. We have a SaaS solution that can go to the market faster in 10 days. So it's a pre-built solution. They can white label it and then they can launch in the market with the monthly SaaS pricing at $10 per day. The marketplace owner or the platform owner can manage how he onboard the users, how he manage his products and all those things. Uh, what is the revenue model he set up? and like multi-currencies and multi-languages. So this panel will be like his admin console where he can customize everything, how the user is gonna experience the app. And now moving on to our next company, it's all the way from Cambodia. Hey everybody, uh, I'm Gordon from uh, Boost Capital. Uh, we've created a technology that offers end-to-end -end microfinance loans through smartphones. Um, this makes it cheaper and easier for entrepreneurs to access and we're rolling, across, rolling out across Southeast Asia. We're enabling more convenient and lower cost financial products through smartphones, uh, which makes it a radically better customer experience. Um, we can make decisions 100 times faster than traditional players, but with the same risk level. So we're going to move on to our last startup for tonight. We have Don Panas. Pansakola from NextPay. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone, depending on where you are in the world watching this. So our company, NextPay, built a digital banking suite to help small businesses adopt and scale their digital financial operations in a simple and affordable way. It's a fast, simple, and affordable set of business banking services where business owners can easily sign up and start collecting money, like getting paid by your customers, manage your money so you can see how your business is doing in real time, and send money such as salaries, bills, and paying your suppliers. And there are no maintaining balances or ridiculous requirements either. Thank you so much. All right, I have to cut in here and pause this q &A. And that's it for all of our pitches tonight. Thank you, Don and Andre. Peter, what's, what's your choice? Ize wasn't in the top two, but you both mentioned it, so now I'm getting FOMO. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> did I? What did I miss? What did I miss? If we just go by votes, it would be Ize and and, and Kerlek. If I may, I, I want to vote for Ize. Joel, you had called both those those two, right? Yep. Collect okay. and easy. Then you, then you decide which one is first. Yeah, so uh, so I think, uh, I mean, I understand the problem that Collect is trying to solve, whereby in, in, in Malaysia, these are uh, bank to bank transfers and doing recurring payments is not available. Uh, so my only concern with the business model is how uh, easy is it to replicate in other markets. Uh, but specifically for Malaysia, it makes sense. Uh, and that's why they're churning out 85 million US dollars of GMV so far, right? So it's, it's, it's got some scale. Okay, Peter, now you decide. Huh? Yes, <laughs> so yeah, Peter, you should decide, yeah. All right, thank you once again, judges. Now, just a quick recap for our audience. All finalists for tonight will walk away with attractive prizes from our partners at AWS Activate and HubSpot. And our top two contenders for tonight will get the chance to enter the finale at our Tech in Asia Conference 2020 virtual next month. All right, the runner up for tonight is, and a little bit of drum roll, please. The runner-up for tonight is Eze. Hi, Minzwe, and congratulations to you to become the runner-up of Startup Arena, the Southeast Asia Regional Finals. How are you feeling? So, so honored and so excited to see that uh, Eze has been selected as a, uh, you know, thank you, thank you to the judges for believing in Eze, and I believe that 
uh, th this is very exciting for us, and you know, uh, our team has been dreaming about it, and it, it, it's a it's a dream come true. But Nat, who is the winner of tonight? All right, so the winner for tonight's Startup Arena Southeast Asia semifinals, walking away with two thousand five hundred dollars in cash from Surge, is Curlek. All right, congratulations, Zach. <laughs> How are you feeling? Yeah, I feel good. Um, do you want to? A little bit surprised because there, so, there were loads of really cool companies, but, you know, super happy. So congratulations to you. Congratulations once again to Ize. And thank you to all our judges, all the companies that participated today, and to all of you watching at home. And uh, congratulations once again to Ize and Curl. Like, for my co-host Radhika, my name's Nat. Thank you for joining us and good night.